Mass Effect 3 is the final act of a trilogy and has prepared its stage appropriately. Times are desperate and the stakes are the highest they've ever been. Many words and many thermal clips will be spent in the name of victory and peace, but does this grand scale battle for survival provide a fitting conclusion to this interactive space opera? Strongest military in the galaxy and the Reapers are obliterating it. <laughs> I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. Mass Effect 3 puts the sum total of the series' accumulated lore and backstory on the line as Commander Shepard returns to action, attempting to rally allies and stop the mechanical reapers from purging organic civilization from the galaxy. Desperation, destruction, and loss are depicted all around you, and you'll face difficult choices presented with real dramatic weight, along with smaller quandaries to let you outwardly express your character's personality. Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. The reputation system gauging good guy Paragon and hawkish renegade actions has been consolidated and calibrated to core themes concerning the nature of synthetic life and the cost of self-preservation. You'll witness strong performances by talented voice actors derived from a clever, if occasionally dorky script, and watch as events unfold to shape the world around you. There's no regulation against dating a ship's AI. I looked it up. The rich mythology is easy to buy into, particularly if you've been soaking it up through multiple games. The actions you take throughout the game and the series as a whole are carefully and continually referenced during play. But as the saga nears its end, it's clear that Shepard can only apply so much spin. The trajectory and arc of the narrative are unalterable. The ultimate fate of the galaxy has largely been decided before you make your final decision, and minor variations in the ending sequence don't meaningfully reflect previous choices. Even so, while the fatalistic conclusion is a disappointment, the actual experience of Shepard's journey remains memorable and worthwhile. Get angry. Someday that anger will be the only ammunition you have left. Shepard, I'm so sorry. Yeah. The overall goal in Mass Effect 3 is to unify the galaxy's military resources into a cohesive strike force and mount a decisive counterattack against the Reapers. And the great majority of this effort is contained within a 25 to 40 hour campaign that's focused but not constrictive. One mission is always marked as priority to point the way forward, but you'll be simultaneously aware of other matters that, while not central to the story, still feel relevant to the bigger picture and are well worth checking out. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. When you're not actively fighting or scouting around the Citadel social hub for leads or supplies, sneaking through Reaper-controlled space and probing planets can uncover useful assets. It's not the most engaging work, but planet scanning can easily become compulsive thanks to rewards including fetch quest items or permanent character upgrades. Victories big and small bring new technology, fleets, and individuals to your cause. Viewable in the Normandy's War Room, each asset adds points to your overall military strength which determines the chance of success for the final mission. The singular elements don't really figure into gameplay beyond their numerical value, but their accrual is a good indicator of your overall progress. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. Cooperative multiplayer, in which teams of four cooperate to fulfill a series of objectives over various maps, determines what the game calls galactic readiness, a percentage that acts as a multiplier to your military strength. You can field characters from various classes, offering different combinations of capabilities, and level up your abilities and purchase supply packs containing random items such as new character types, weapons, and consumable power-ups. With solid cooperative mission design and genuine effort required to unlock new options, it's an enjoyable and effective time sink. Here they come! Copy that. A small but notable new feature is the ability for players to shift the focus of their experience towards story or action. The multiple choice dialogue wheel that lets players navigate the interactive story can be set on autopilot, and the challenge of combat can be de-emphasized with a new narrative difficulty setting. But no matter how you play, there will be conversations, there will be high-tech gunfights, and the basic nature of the game remains unchanged. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. <laughs> Let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Mass Effect features no small amount of negotiating, speaking to your companions, and extracting information. But when it comes to making your way through missions, you'll rely on your aim and your squad's combat abilities to cut your way through Reaper husks, Cerberus agents, and whatever else stands in your way. Mass Effect 3 continues the series' gradual adaptation and refinement of existing third-person shooter mechanics, improving the basic feel of the action while adding more offensive options as well as further customization with weapon mods and upgrades. 
Your character is agile enough to roll and duck from cover to cover and perform a variety of close combat moves, while weapons and powers feel lethal and well differentiated. Control is smooth, despite a single dominant button perhaps serving too many functions. Different enemies employ different attack methods. Some will deploy turrets, others move forward from behind shields, or turn invisible to get the drop on you. Despite familiar weapon types like sniper rifles, assault rifles, and shotguns, Mass Effect's combat has a fairly distinct feel. Effectively countering defenses such as shields, biotic barriers, and heavy armor means using specific ammo types and attacks. But with powers significantly improving as you develop and evolve different skills, the power of multiplying stats ensures that brute force damage and headshots will ultimately prevail in just about any situation. The class you select at the beginning of the game dictates your general approach to combat, but you can further tweak your approach based on the weight of equipment you carry into battle. Packing more and heavier weapons means your powers will recharge slowly, while going in light ensures you can rely more on abilities to do damage and pull you out of tough spots. You can go for versatility or find the optimal combination for your playstyle, and the ability to switch things up keeps combat interesting. Damn, You'll also have access to your squad's abilities, which you can directly access by bringing in the tactical pause menu. It's worth noting, though, that the squad selection in Mass Effect 3 is limited, and with little redundancy, it's possible, and even likely, that you'll play through without access to certain abilities and combinations. Returning players hoping to get help from old friends will notice that almost everyone has a conspicuously convenient excuse for not being able to join you again on the Normandy. But you're given enough firepower to make do. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Most missions alternate between tense fighting and tense chit-chat, but Mass Effect 3 is a couple of ways to mix things up. You can crack the cockpits of gigantic Atlas mechs to turn their firepower on your foes, and when Shepard sees a turret, which isn't exactly a rare occasion, he can't help but call dibs and begin blasting away at oncoming foes. They're old and worn tools for the genre, but they're new to Mass Effect, and the variety they add is welcome. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Pack it out. There's no question that the cast of Mass Effect is looking their best for the grand finale. While not every face can be described as beautiful, impressively emotive features once again prove capable of delivering drama with the help of excellent voice work. Reapers loom in the backgrounds, unleashing incredible destruction that emphasizes the magnitude of the conflict, while the smallest touches lend environments a sense of being lived in or fought over. Combat looks and sounds futuristic and brutal, although the gory but rather uniform pop of exploding heads and bodies is clearly tuned to reward rather than disturb. It's a mix of quality and quantity that gives the Mass Effect universe its powerful pull. Like the visuals, the accompanying score exhibits an impressively broad reach, fading or rising to suit the scene at hand and continually returning the player to the mysterious and reflective galaxy map before each new venture. No individual element feels lacking, and minor flaws such as characters snapping into their next pose that surface from time to time are easily ignored in favor of gloss applied elsewhere. I don't think we can count on anywhere being safe right now. Commander, that was a skillful operation back on Sir Kesh. Mass Effect 3 improves many of the series' individual elements, and provides finality to a saga in which numbers of us have invested dozens of hours. But despite this success, it's unable to reward the effort and investment of players in the way previous games did. Still, it handles its subject matter in a way that invites you to care, and the addition of multiplayer adds another dimension to the game. When all has been said and done, there's a very good chance that you'll feel something. We're out of time. <laughs>